Nothing like a cup of Lipton's at 14 and a half minutes after 6 o'clock in the morning. She smiles. She wants her bees. I do need I want bees. my Lipton. All right. We're happy to have with us this morning Michael Goodman and Peter Boyce. They're the hosts of our brand new show on QFM, 1.30 in the afternoon on Mondays. If you've missed it, you've missed something really solid. It's called Bajan Living. And what is Bajan Living? These gentlemen can tell us. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Bajan Living is a program. I actually think it, it's a little bit like Morning Barbados but it's on the radio because we have all sorts of segments. We have um, take good care of yourself with health tips. We have money, money, money with money tips. We have guests. We have location interviews. It's, it's kind of a bit like Morning Barbados on the radio, but we don't have to go all dressed up and we don't have yeah. to put makeup on. Well, I mean, I don't put makeup on. I can't speak for other people. <laughs> I don't know. That's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an exciting show. I, I, I know I've heard very positive comments about the show. Peter, talk to us a little bit about why do this kind of show to the Barbadian public at this time? I think that the purpose of a show like this is, as you would know, I'm involved in the entertainment industry. I'm also involved in entertainment shows. And I find that there needs to be a show which is entertaining and interesting, but yet also covers serious matters. I find that when you're watching television they're, they're, that there are shows that are able to do that quite capably internationally. So I thought that would be a good idea to have something like this on CBC Radio where I w it would be, I'm not quite as zany as I am in my other roles, mm. but oh, I, really? I'm able to, yeah, <laughs> but I'm able to contribute a little bit of fun and at the same time it gives me, uh, it gives us an, a, a reason to be able to give something out that's really serious. So you find that it's different in terms of that when I'm on my 98.1 rule, I am talking about swaggerific and then I'm on <laughs> QFM and I'm talking about colonoscopy. I was practicing that to drop on you. Oh, oh, good. Okay. So we, we, we're very we're really aware of what that is all about. But as, um, it happens on Monday afternoons, 1.30 p.m. For those of you who do not know, it's on QFM, Quality Music, Quality Talk. So tell us about the response you're getting from this because you say it's the mature program for the mature listener. Well, I have to say, I'm, I'm kind of blown away by it. We've only been on air for eight weeks, mm -hmm. and I just want to say right now thanks to Pearson Bowen uh, and also to um, the, the, the whole team that actually supported this idea when we first uh, uh, brought it to us, uh, as well, Rosemary Aileen and uh, Sharon Walden, who supported this when we brought it to them. Um, and we were out just last Thursday on Brown's Beach. Peter had wanted to do an interview with the two lifeguards who saved a man's life. That mm -hmm. kind of never makes the news. The drownings make the news, but the savings yeah. don't. So they were our heroes of the week, or will be our heroes of the week next week. We were down and doing we that interview. And have a shot interview. of them on camera. Oh, great. Oh, that's on excellent. Screen as you speak. That's, and Peter, we're down there, because we go out and do location <laughs> interviews. So that'll be on next Monday. You mustn't miss that. It's great. And as we were packing up and leaving, I see this group of people congregating, older people congregating, and there's a thing written on the, the, the table, the Wednesday 4 p.m. posse, and I'm thinking this is footballers or it's table tennis or something like this. And it's this group of older people. So I said, Peter, I, I'm going to get this. This is, this is Beijing living. This is what we're about. Yeah. And I said, you know, I started to say I used to be with Barp and now I'm this. We know your program. You had Rosemary uh, talking about making cuckoo yesterday. Mm. They knew the program. And this is like That's eight good. weeks in. I didn't have to explain anything. And this keeps happening. So I think the response is, is, is fantastic and we're yeah. thrilled with that. Clearly there's a thirst um, and you are quenching it. <laughs> um, if the response is as you say it is, mm. clearly there is a, there's a need. The segment I'm most interested in is the way we were. Old Barbadiana oh, is something wow. very close to my heart and I'm kind of curious as to um, a piece of history that is usually told best in pictures uh, of the way we were. How, how is that translating to radio? Well you know what I, I used to think pictures w were best, but when we interviewed a 107-year-old Gerald Bradshaw in St. Thomas, it was, would you say that's possibly one of the best interviews we've had on the show so far. It was absolutely fascinating. Um, our friend Rosemary Parkinson, who's writing a book about Bajan food and culture yeah. and everything, and she had heard about him, and we organized the interview, and he was amazing. So I would actually say to you, um, but, but it's, the vo it's the voices of the people from the past that 
truly capture it. And you did the interview with Froggy as well, the, yeah. she, the, the, the Caritonian. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was really an excellent interview. And I would also say we have a Facebook page, so we get to put some photographs on okay. the Facebook page. And we've been getting a lot of response also from fans through our Facebook. And we interview, you know, I had the, the, the privilege of interviewing Froggy, which was an experience in itself. She let me yes. play with her guitar. Oh, I thought yeah. it was that, that's an exception. <laughs> 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 it's not, it's not at 1.30 in the afternoon, Pearson. We, you know, we have to be careful. When he goes down, these are she let me. I was like, go ahead. But there yeah, is no, the no, other no, side no. to that. <laughs> yeah. Because there had to be an exchange, didn't there? Yes, yes. She said that if you touch my guitar, that means I can touch you. And she commented you had very so kissable yes, lips. Yes, she She was making the advances on me, actually. And we also had Richard Stout, the Godfather of Entertainment. We had a very interesting interview with him. We had Tony Hoyas dealing with financial matters. We had Smokey Burt dealing with entertainment and also dealing with health matters. Cardiologist Dr. Sparman and just this Monday we had Margaret Knight speaking about her latest book that she's writing so it's quite a diverse re topic range that we deal with on Beijing Living. But it's like a who's who mm -hmm. but then it's those who we don't know as well because you mm -hmm. un also unearth some voices that are unfamiliar but become familiar by the story they tell. That, that's absolutely right, Pearson. And, and sometimes we discover it this week, this Monday just passed, we went to uh, Cecil Atwell in St. Lawrence Gap, and he has the, the backyard garden that would make the Ministry of Agric Agriculture go crazy. This is the whole model for the thing. Small yard, which he's been doing for over 30 years, and we interviewed. Do you yeah. know about him? <laughs> yeah, because a small yard. I, have <laughs> I have a few that drums. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> it. Grow some but time, that but is. this gentleman I need to visit. You do need to visit him because he uses drums, he uses wheel uh, uh, rims, he uses the, the um, uh, vegetable oil bottles and he goes to the beach and brings and you, the, you missed that interview I'll send it to you, Thank but you it was that. really great Snack mm. on the wrist. Um, <laughs> you, You're talking about the interviews and it's called the Mature Program for the Mature Listener but there's an opportunity for some cultural education here, don't you think Peter? Yeah, we definitely explore that opportunity, that's why we would have had Tony Tony Horius would have played a part in that because you know he's involved in entertainment yeah, and also Richard Stout too as well because we were able to go into what it is that he did for the entertainment industry and when he came on he talked about his work throughout the years from back in the 60s from when he first started so there's also a cultural exponent too as well that is right. all, that's part of the show. Hold that thought for a second because we have a very familiar voice on the line. Gail, good morning to you. A blessed and a wonderful <laughs> morning. A blessed good morning to you too. To you too, Gail. Cassandra, you look lovely. And, Thank you, um, Gail. The, the other young lady, you look lovely too. Katrina. Cassandra, so <laughs> Thank my girl. <laughs> All right. So, Gail, have you been listening to the show? Yes, of course. And I want to thank the gentleman. Mm -hmm. I won a book, and I had the privilege of speaking to Miss Smythe tonight. Oh, nice. Oh, you did? Yes, of course. And thank you very much, sir. You've had a greater honor than me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> I am proud. They can tell yeah. my grandchildren that. Well, of course, you're, you're telling everyone about the show, right, Gail? Yes. And every good it's reason. It's very interesting. Give me a 30... Okay, you started already. <laughs> I was going to tell you to give you 30 <laughs> seconds reasons why people should tune into this show every Monday at 1.30. Because Go. it's very interesting. It's, you get a, um, some information on uh, of every little thing, health-wise. You know, um, even with the barp and I saw that I didn't want the um, the, the the thing for barp. <laughs> you miss me, Gil. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you very much. I have a blessed and a wonderful day. You yeah. Too, Gail. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think did Gil, Gil, who won our competition last yes. week, yes, yes, yes. she was thank so you. excited. Mm -hmm. She was so excited because yeah. what we do is we call the person immediately after the program and organise to get it. And I just want to say I have been going out. This is just something that appeals to me and is part of the program. Where possible, I actually go out and deliver the prizes by hand That's so that right. I can meet yep. the people. And I just want to say hello to Sandra Byer, to Ernie Young and Sheldon Dial, all of whom are in our prize, the Bajan Living Prize Winner Circle, who I met. And that, that, that to me is, is really what this is all yeah, about. What, what Gail is saying is, is correct. We, do, we deal with a range. We, we deal with colon cancer, closing, the honey, mm -hmm. uh, fish, dogs. If you don't have a dog, dogs yeah. are good for your health. All of you all should get a dog. Really? So, and yeah. also getting a good night's sleep, something which I need to do so I don't get up at 3 and go on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and the season is yet young. We've got to go. We've got to go, guys. But Beijing Living continues Mondays, 1.30 on QFM. Join Michael and Peter. I don't know who's going to get the last word, but <laughs> either one of them tries to get the last word. But thank you so much, gentlemen, and keep doing the great work you're doing on QFM. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Morning, Barbados, and my tea after the break.